covering news from all around the Lake Trobe High School, this is WCAT-TV. Mr. Mears has free Jennerstown Speedway tickets for the June 19th race in the athletic office. If you would like some free tickets, just stop in. Anyone taking AP U.S. History next year must stop in and see Mr. Pratt in H-208 prior to the last day of school to get the summer assignment. Any athlete interested in running with the cross-country teams this fall but missed the meeting, please see Coach Simpson in C-112 for information about summer conditioning, physicals, and the fall schedule. Congratulations to the winners of the Avidum Everyone Needs a Hand raffle. Thank you to everyone who participated. Brianna Ruby, Adina Pru, and Sarah Masco. One final thought from Avidum is to remember that trees lose their leaves every year, stand tall, and bloom again next, the next year. Each hour, each day, each year is a new opportunity. In entertainment news, we go to Ben Hamdy with some places you can visit this summer. There are a variety of places they explore in Western Pennsylvania. Here are a few local places students can visit for fun in the summer. The Rogers McFeely Memorial Pool in downtown Latrobe is a popular spot in the summer. General admission is $7 and $5 after 4.30 p.m. A cool dip in the pool will be nice on a hot summer's day. If swimming is in your thing, there are several public golf courses nearby. For example, Glengarry Golf Links is open to the public boasting a Scottish Link style 18 hole layout. You may even spot one of your Greater Latrobe teachers there. If you are an outdoors person and love nature, there are many beautiful parks in our area. Mammoth Park, Twin Lakes, Lynn Run, and Ohio Pile are a few of the places you can bike, hike, and fish. For those thrill seekers, you may want to check out the local amusement parks. Idlewild and Soap Zone is a family favorite. A day trip to Kennywood Park in Pittsburgh offers an exciting variety of roller coasters and rides. Another place I would highly recommend will be Top Golf in Bridgeville. You do not need to be a golfer to enjoy the state of the art driving range. On those rainy days, you can visit the many museums about the deep history in Western Pennsylvania. Lastly, Pittsburgh is always a thrilling place to explore. From the skyscrapers, river, bridges, baseball games, and food, you are sure to stay busy. I hope this gives you some ideas to make fun memories this summer. Reporter Kaylin Rocco asked students what they are looking forward to most this summer. I am looking forward to traveling the most this summer. There's a lot of fun places out there that I can't wait to visit. I'm excited to go to grad parties and to go to the beach with my friends. I'm looking forward to swimming and spending time with my friends this summer. We're most excited to go to the beach. I'm looking forward to hanging out with my friends this summer. Hanging out with my friends. Going to the gym with my friends and going on vacation. Sweet! <laughs> I'm looking forward to hanging out with my best friend Kaylee and being able to go to the pool and going on vacation this year. We end our show with a look at a showcase of the awards WCATV and staff members earned this year. In the West Virginia University High School Video Challenge Competition, Harley Cochran received the Best News Video Award, Annie Duda received the Best Feature Video Award, Wildcat All Access received the Best Sports Show Award, and Luke Hamity received the Best Sports Anchor Award. The staff also received seven National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Mid-Atlantic Chapter Student Production Award nominations including Annie Duda for her Wildcat Mass Light news story, body image music video, and lemonade music video, Harley Cochran's serious news story on the education changes due to COVID-19, Alexis Coletti, Kaylin Rocco, and Abby Williams for their public service announcement, Sky DeMalta for on-camera talent, and WCATV News for daily high school newscast. Annie Duda received the Student Production Award for her lemonade music video, and will move on to the national competition. The staff were also recognized in the Digital Media Arts Consortium High School Journalism Competition sponsored by Robert Morris University. Annie Duda's Lemonade Music Video won for Best in Category for Animation Slash Stop Motion. Ethan Mazurk received an Award of Excellence for his project, The Titans, 
in the special effects category. Annie Duda received an award of excellence for her body image music video in the video as art category. Joe Kozic received an award of excellence for his documentary on the history of Latrobe. Ramaya Henderson received an award of excellence for her PSA on safe driving. Kaylin Rocco and Abby Williams received an award for the best in category for their news package on bus safety. Annie Duda received an award of excellence for her feature package on the Wildcat mascot and the Founders Award for her contributions to her school's broadcast program. And the WCAT TV staff received the best in category award for school announcements. Congratulations to all the winners and thank you for tuning in each day for our production. We will see you again next year.